Hi everybody, welcome you all to my channel. Today we will learn about paging. Paging is a very important concept in memory management system. If you are well enough in paging, then obviously you will surely cut a good figure in your examination on memory management system. So let's us know what is actually paging. Paging is just dividing our process and dividing our process into paging, page and store it to our main memory as you know our main memory size is limited so it is store only the most needable or most necessary process in our main memory and an other process are stored in secondary memory so while we need our process then we will bring and bring to bring to these processes in our main memory so how we will bring this using pages suppose we have a process p0 of 4 byte let's 0 1 2 3 there are 4 byte okay i would like to explain simply my uh, paging uh, my uh, my in my tutorial paging okay suppose this is my process 4 byte and i would like to bring this in my 16 byte memory main memory suppose this is my main memory 16 byte okay so for for doing this i have to divide my process into equal size frame that means i would like to divide my process into two pages 0 and 1 page now okay this is my page now and in the page number 0 i will store 0 and 1 byte and in the page number 1 i will store 2 uh, two and second and third byte okay so as you can see i divided into two pages and my page size is page size is page size is 2 byte clear page size is 2 byte and number of pages 2 okay and i will i will keep this pages in this memory so i have to i have I, I have i need same size block here so this is called frame f r a m frame okay i will divide the 16 byte frame in equal size that means 2 byte that why that why i will get 8 frame 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay this is my frame and 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and this is my 16 byte 0 to 15 okay and this is my frame 0 to 7th okay so i would like to store this 0th page in my frame long 2 and i would like to uh, store this page long page long 1 in my frame long 5 okay this is uh, for this reason we use paging okay and for this reason our page size and frame size must be equal is that clear our page size and frame size must be equal this is our container and this is our variable so or this is our element to hold here so our page size and frame size must be equal okay this is called paging and if we want to retrieve we need to know zeroth page in where frame in, in which frame so that's why we would need a table that this is called page table and zeroth page is in frame 2 that's why i will write here 2 and one page is in 5 i will write write here 5 frame 5 okay this is called our page table is it clear so we will divide our process into equal size page and we will replace we will store this page in our frame in our main memory uh, and we will make some equal size frame like uh, uh, equal size like our page size and then we will store it in our frame and we, we will have a table uh, called page table and here we will have the page number and frame number okay page number uh, connected to our frame number have you clear i hope that okay so now we have a page table in there and zero page is in frame 2 and one page uh, first page and one page in our frame number 5 okay so now take a example to get better understand suppose our cpu asking our third byte okay 
this is fourth but actually but for now as we, as we indexing uh, as our indexing start from zero this is our third byte okay so cpu doesn't know anything page, uh, anything about this paging or any 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 system cpu simply asking for third byte but we have to make it 11 as our as our page store there sequentially number 10 byte of our main memory is storing the second byte and number uh, 11 of our main memory are storing the third byte okay as we will simply put it here so for getting th third byte i have to make it 11 i have to make it 11 so we need a formula okay there is a tricks formula to make this third to 11 this is uh, and for this we have to know about logical address logical address and physical address physical address if you got clear about about the two things then nobody will stop you to nobody will nobody can stop you to uh, get understand about this page okay okay let give me some time to make you clear what is logical address logical is nothing but for three so how we can generate our logical address logical address size will be the size of our process so our process size is four byte and to represent four byte we will need two bit so i am using two bit here okay two bit logical address and we have to divide this two bit into page norm as this page norm will match with this page table and this is page size or offset okay offset so as you can see our page long is one for th third uh, for third byte so i will put here one and our page size is two and to represent two two we need one byte as you can see our page long is one to represent our zero and one we need only one byte and to represent our page size two we need only zero, one byte that so we divided this into two byte into two section okay we divide it into two section but as you can see we have seven frame and we, we have our frame size is two so we will divide it into one bit one bit and third uh, three bit okay and the whole size will be four bit as we, we have to represent 16 16 byte or 16 number 16 here it is relative to, relative to our number i think you got clear how, um, that uh, what will be our size of physical address and what will be our size of logical address uh, our size of logical address will be uh, two bit and within the two bit our page long will be as we have 0 and 1 to represent 0 and we have we need only one bit and to represent the size 2 we need only one bit that's why we are dividing it to section and as, uh, 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 with 1 and 1 and as you can see we to represent frame norm this is our frame norm frame norm and this is our frame offset okay offset or size so as we our frame size is 2 we need one byte and uh, one bit and as our uh, frame now is seven to represent seven we need three byte three bit as it, i think you got clear okay then as you can see our frame now is five it is one zero one and our element is zero and one zero uh, if we we are in four this will be eight will be our zeroth element and nine will be our one element so i am putting here one and this is nothing but eleven as you can uh, if you uh, if you use this table 1011 1011 this is nothing but 11 okay this is the magic this is the magic okay you got clear about uh, physical address size and logical address size and how we dividing this uh, two part i think you got clear okay this is a very important thing to get understand about paging okay then let's know how cpu you getting this 11 number byte suppose CPU is asking for th third byte and its logical address is one and one. It will go page number one. It will find frame frame number five. It will go frame number five, and it will have the one. That means the second element of the frame.
frame okay this is how it will simply bring this element number byte to process i hope you got clear and try to take another example to understand all the things and try to pause my and try to understand uh, using your book and thank you for today